two, one, two, three. Welcome to musicthryan.com. I'm, of course, Ryan, and I've got a really sweet tune for you guys today, and that's the classic Bill Monroe tune, Jerusalem's Ridge. Um, could be a Kenny Baker tune. Uh, that's all up in the air. Anyway, uh, this is a rather large tune, and it's got three different sections, and it's got some all other connecting parts, little bridges, I call them. Um, and there's some timing issues in there, too, you got to really watch out for. So if you ever tried to play this at the jam, you might notice some interesting things going on if you haven't really worked on this tune. Um, so for this, this preview lesson here, we're going we're gonna to walk through everything measure for measure. And you can kind of get a sense of how this lesson is going to roll out. And if you'd like to purchase the full-length lesson, just hop on over to my website. And when you do that, it'll come with um, about 40 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and four backing tracks or practice tracks. You can work your speed up to the performance speed. And I go over everything about how to connect those parts and the timing, because some people say there's like a hitch or a short measure, which, which there is a short measure. Um, there's a couple bars of 2-4. And so like, what is that? What are you talking about, right? Well, I go over all that. I talk about how to connect everything, how to count it out, and just so how you, you'll be able to understand it and play at the jam, because it's just kind of odd to have those short measures, especially in a fiddle tune. Um, happens a lot in country, but... So, um, if you like what you see, please subscribe, make a comment, uh, hop over to my website, check out all the material I have over there. The, my library is growing all the time, with ebooks, videos, and tabs, and such. Um, I really appreciate it, so uh, for now, let's walk through this lesson. Thanks for watching. But it first starts out with this little uh, vamp at the beginning, that's four measures long. That's pretty easy, really. I've got one little lick in there, but um, the beginning, as you see, is uh, goes like this. Uh, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, So yeah, it just does this like little vamp or little intro to kind of get everybody ready for this big tune, Jerusalem Ridge. And all I'm doing there is I'm playing an A minor chord, my standard A minor chord, and that's what it is for the most of most of it, except at the very end, little the little lick there. But just um, and I'm doing a little. I might just keep put my hand on the strings and not uh, not press down, but just have them just touching. And I get a little percussive sound. Um, so you can get that as well, just to kind of keep the beat going and um, just add a little extra instead of just doing it once. I can keep kind of keeping my right hand moving. So, uh, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So 
So let's just do that. Look, I think the rest of it, I think that beginning part is pretty straightforward. I feel like you'll be able to figure it out. The little squiggly lines, in case you didn't know, is a quarter note rest that gets one beat. So no playing, quarter note rest. But yeah, it's just um, quarter note strums. And that measure's got two of them. And then, and then that little lick is, um, it's got a little 16th note, so it's a quick pull off. One zero on the D string, so not nope. Really quick. One E and one E. Okay. And a little dotted note there. fret on the A string, okay? So that, that measure is simply one, two, and then we get right into it. And of course that beginning repeats, so if that was the second time, excuse me, if that was the second time we'd go on, but it does it twice, those four bars twice for the little vamp. Um, that measure rests. part for the first time so yeah I think I'll just kind of leave it at that that's the only tricky spot about that little intro okay so let's go ahead and walk through the a part now and I'm gonna play the first three measures and then we'll break them down here slowly so one two three four Zero, two, three on the A string there to start it off. And then on the D string in the second fret, that is a quarter note. So there's lots of eighth notes in a row, but there are quarter notes snuck in there. So really watch, I guess, the stems of the notes, if that makes sense. The line coming down, is it connected to another stem or is it by itself? So if it's by itself, it's a quarter note. measure two three on the D to end it two three four and then here the next measure together uh, three and four and so kind of a lot going back and forth between the second and third fret there on just the two strings so you really gotta keep an eye out where your place is um, and then the third measure kind of starts like the first one kind of like rolled over with my second finger there it's a little technique you can kind of roll and that's totally fine quarter note and then four and so you can totally roll over with your second finger that is perfectly fine
Moving on to the next three, they sound like this. I'll play them slow. Three and four and... themes there. Um, this first measure is a little different. So it starts on a D string, second fret, two, zero, 